obviously this is a non-ketone muesli. Lovely sausage for breakfast. <laughs> Huge hotel this, we've got to get a uh, fucking golf cart in the room. TV falling off the wall. Beautiful <laughs> day, look at the sea. Yeah, chicken out guys, the food's just come, some of hot, some of them is a spicy papaya salad. This with the police, because they'd be like, yeah, sir, uh, that's not creatine. <laughs> Well, check it out, guys. That we do my own freaking day as always. Uh, we're on our last day here in uh, Pattaya, heading off to a bang sand later. But now we're just heading off down to a breakfast. Like I say it's not a buffet breakfast as you saw in yesterday's video, which I hope you freaking watched. But it is, yeah, it wasn't a bad sort of a sausage and uh, bacon and eggs meal. We obviously, get the other bits uh, to eat as well. But uh, yeah, not the best, but definitely not the worst. And it was a nice fry up. Anyway, heading down to breakfast now. See you in a bit. Check it out, here we are in the breakfast area, aka the restaurant. <laughs> I've got uh, two coffees and with milk, a class of milk and some muesli, obviously not keto at all. You can have a little splash of that in your coffees, it's fine. I don't have loads of it, and obviously this is a non-keto muesli, but uh, really nice as a treat. I hardly ever have this. And check it out, oh bloody hell. Check it out guys, the star of the show's come. So we got our lovely sausage, who does not like a, enough jumbo sausage for breakfast. <laughs> I've got a couple of fried eggs and some fried bacon as well. And uh, that's the bit you get set and then you add on your extra here, which is some baked beans, which are a bit bleh, and some potato. I'm being very naughty, sorry keto people, I've got a slice of uh, toast as well. There you go, that is breakfast. And another milk and two coffees as well. We've just got all, uh, Packed up and ready to go now, just about to check out and then try and find our way back down to Bang Sen. Fortunately, there's no direct van from Pattaya to Bang Sen, so you might have to get one to Bangkok and pay the full price and get dropped off halfway, or you can find like a local sort of a taxi driver. It's around about uh, 12 quid, 500 baht ishi. So, uh, yeah, enough while four, we're just about to check out now, and I'll see you in a bit. Cheers. Okay, check it out, guys. So, uh, we just booked a car now from another app called Bolt. Oh, now, what's wrong? I don't know. It says 480 on the app. Okay, but you get two stars. <laughs> okay, check it out, guys. So we just checked out the hotel now, and uh, we've booked this car here to go down to Beng Bang Sen through an app called Bolt. This is different to the Indriver, the one we came. I say, nice hotel here, but unfortunately, people were smoking marijuana by the swimming pool, cigarette smoke everywhere. The corridor last night, full of marijuana and cigarette smoke this morning. So that's absolutely disgusting. So if you want to complain about that, if you've got lung problems like I have, not freaking, freaking cool at all. Really peed off about that. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, maybe you'll get sick of being the monster out of my head, under my bed. Think you're something out of my nose. We've got dropped outside now from this geezer. Absolutely awesome drive. Thank you very much. And we're just at the Bang Sen Heritage Hotel now. Check it out. Here we go, guys. That's pretty freaking cool. Oh, wow. Check out inside. It's freaking busy. It looks like a freaking nightclub. Oh, yeah. So yeah, we all got checked in now, and um, yeah, absolutely freaking huge hotel this. We got to get a, a freaking golf cart to the room. <laughs> you want to drive? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't let her drive. We crash. I sit in the back seat. I have got more room. Ash. Four. Have you got your golf clubs. Mm. Wow, check it out. So that's reception right there, and then. Jeez, it's quite, quite a huge area. Wow. Jeez, the room's miles from reception. Bloody hell. <laughs> Unbelievable. We've been like three minutes on this golf buggy down to the hotel room. Crazy. How big is the hotel? Mental. Jeez, the room is miles away. Yeah, crazy golf's awesome. Yeah. Wow, check it out. Yeah, I know. It's quite a trek, isn't it? Oh, here we go, check it out, the room. Wow, um, key 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 okay. the door. Okay. Open the door. Oh, okay. okay, guys, check it out, there's our TV falling off the wall. <laughs> there's our room. Oh, that's uh, interesting. Be careful here, man, I can see you going arse overhead. <laughs> Look at that. There's like the breakfast counter. There's the air con. Hey, yeah, okay, apparently there's only one bed. We've got stairs up here into our own uh, bathroom and one bed well she said they'd put another bed in didn't yeah well, it's quite old actually isn't it so yeah guys check it out this is the the room we've got a private sort of uh what do you call it chalet Pilot villa. Pilot villa villa that's the word i'm looking for so we've got a nice bed down here but uh, one triple bed for uh, three of us so yeah we need to need to get another one going on <laughs> that's ridiculous three in the bed and i said get the bloody hell out there's no bloody room <laughs> 
We're in a bed, and Andy said. And check it out. So we got all like the kitchen area down there, a sink and everything, a kettle, and we got a lounge area there. Be careful not to trip up, because that's a bit of a uh, step there, isn't it? You can see yourself having an accident on that bit. Fridge. And the bathroom is in here with a huge step up. Not too sure about a, an electric heater right next to the shower head, personally. Uh, check it out, there's the bathroom, shower unit. And unfortunately, they only put it up for two people, so there should be another bed. So we're going to have to ring reception now. This probably wouldn't call this a, uh, a four star. I mean, the main hotel looks all right, but this is definitely not a four star. But um, you get your own sort of private villa, so that's not too bad. And it wasn't a bad price here. So we've got breakfast and dinner. Uh -huh, one room service. Here you've got all this stuff as well. Check it out. Okay. There you go then. Okay, so after relaxing in uh, the room for a little bit, we're just heading off now to 7-Eleven. We've got, the got to get a milk, got to have a cup of tea. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just going to have a butchers of the beach as well. It was pretty brizzy, brizzy today. Oh my God, I can't speak. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty busy today. Oh look, check it out. We've got to come out this uh, special locked door. Friggin' hell. I feel like a friggin' prisoner. <laughs> yeah, we need this. Oh. But, but the <laughs> oh, there we go, can't get in now. <laughs> there's, no, there's no scanner for the door outside. You have to have a long arm, obviously. You have to have the long arm. <laughs> it was stupid, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, dear. Anyway, 7 Eleven's just here, and uh, the dinner restaurant here. You get dinner with this place as well, just a couple of dishes, but uh, better than nothing. Oh, wow, yeah, massive coconut. There you go. Five seconds later, you've got 7 Eleven, and there's the restaurant right here. This is the restaurant here, this one. Bok bok. We're busy down this part of the beach, isn't it? Okay, check it out, guys. So we uh, just checked in 7 Eleven and checked the restaurant where we're eating tonight with our food voucher. And then... Okay, only me again. I have to do a phone call the camera cut out. So, uh, oh, visa problems, bloody hell, so annoying. Anyway, we decided to, I'm not sure if I said, we're just coming down to the bank down beach now, get a cup of tea on the way back or something. But uh, yeah, check it out. Beautiful day. Look at the sea. Oh, such a contrast to a patio. So if you like a little laid back sort of uh, laid backness instead of all the like, partying and everything, definitely come to Bang Sen. It's a lot quieter here, as you can see. Beach is not quite as nice, but uh, freaking patio beach ain't that freaking great either. So mm. it's much nearer near Bangkok as well. So it's an hour less to here than it is to Patia. Oh, look at that, lovely. It's a shame the day's overcast. Freaking terrible weather. But at least better than yesterday anyway. So far. Nice. Mm. Oh, whoa, we're on top of the tuk tuk. <laughs> Ooh, check it out, guys. Just got our breakfast coupons, even though that's a complete lie because we're not going for breakfast now. Well, and they're not breakfast coupons either. Check it out guys, I've got my lovely dinner coupons now. We just got like a little set at the Pop Pop restaurant, Papaya Papaya Pop Pop Isan food, which is North Thailand spicy, spicy food. And yeah, just heading off there now, so see you inside. There we go. Mum's favourite seats. Yeah, check out that. <laughs> don't think Mum's sitting on that, I don't know. Oh, just to sit in this, I there's loads of cats out there, probably attack us. You know what cats are like. What's that? Oh, you are, are you? <laughs> What's that? Mmm, they look alright, don't they? Uh, check it out, guys, the food's just come. This one is a grilled pork belly sort of salad. This one is grilled pork neck salad. That's a huge load of rice. And then three sticky rices, cut on cut. So this always uh, is a bit, uh, don't keep your hot food in plastic people, it's really, really unhealthy. So this is sticky rice, that is a uh, normal rice, cow soy and cow meal. Mm, I love sticky rice. Mm. Mm. Mouse on fire because she had like a children's level bit of chilli. <laughs> Mum said she wasn't going to have it. I just tried the mm. that's all. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there we go guys, this is a somtam tart. Somtam is the spicy papaya salad. And tart means deep fried. So they've deep fried the pieces of uh, papaya in here. Really friggin' nice. And this one is a spicy chicken with jim dao sauce. This is a deep fried, um, what's it called, enoki mushrooms with a peanut sauce. And this one is the kamu yang, which is the grilled pork neck. 
with the Jim Gel sauce again. And checking out Mum's final dish that she ordered is the Kalpak Gai, which is a stir fried chicken rice fried egg on top. And there we go, that's all our dishes that we had uh, at the restaurant. Absolutely freaking delicious, some lovely Isan food there. Obviously we do have a few more carbohydrates when on holiday, but uh, yeah, when I'm back in the room and back on my keto diet, I obviously make all these lovely uh, keto versions. So check out some of my recipes as well. I've got lovely like the cauliflower rice and everything and a couple of sort of Thai salads as well. So check those recipes out after this vlog, cheers. Wow, awesome. I love hearing all the sounds of nature. Wicked. Anyway, we've just been to 7-Eleven now. Just got some milk and some water. Got to have a nice cup of tea when we get back. Oh, gas bin. Is this us? 5206? Look at now. There's mosquitoes everywhere. <laughs> mosquitoes out. <gasps> Jesus, bloody hell. Oh, got back to the room. Got a kettle on already. This one keep on all the time. Made a lovely cup of tea. And I've just had my special uh, supplements. <laughs> It looks like dodgy as hell, so make sure you don't get caught with uh, this with the police because they'd be like, yeah, that's, uh, that's not creatine. <laughs> I've got some glycine, creatine and taurine powder in there. And then I've uh, got my mushroom powder, so yeah, check it out. Yes, yeah, so that stuff's really good for you, so make sure you get your creatine and taurine and glycine in. and really good for your health and longevity. And obviously, the mushroom powder is really good for like relaxing, um, calming down and everything, sleep and stuff. I probably need a lot more of it, but <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we're just going to have a cup of coffee. No, we're not. We're having a cup of tea now. I'm gonna watch uh, some Korean series. Korean series are absolutely freaking awesome. Way better than all the crap that comes out of America nowadays or anywhere, really. Oh my god, check out some Korean series. We're watching at the moment Death Note, which is uh, pretty good. We just started this series. Um, yeah, if you're interested in some cool Korean drama series, let me know in the comments and I will tell you some awesome ones, which you should definitely check 